Never thought I'd die fighting side by side with a lizard. <laughs> How about side by side with a person who can't micro? Poland, Russia, and Ottomans. If you hit Albians in the Rhineland, you can try to wipe them. Yeah, come on, let's do it. That's, that's a wipe. A, that's a wipe. That's a oh wipe. Oh my god, that was almost an entire army. I just wiped them in Prague. We've even the numbers of the war, so we can afford to pull back, I think. They're attacking Prague, that's gonna go horribly for them. Welcome back to the Bavaria series everyone, where we are in the midst of the biggest war this campaign has seen so far. It began and saw some fierce battles in part 14 here, if you haven't already watched that. I made a move to align myself with former enemy Burgundy in order to take down the Elbian Confederation and advance my quest of forming Germany. The Ottoman Empire, Poland, Lithuania, Russia and Batavia joined the Elbian side, but through skill and determination, my armies, joined by Burgundy and Italy, pulled off some stunning victories in some of the most exciting Vic2 multiplayer war gameplay I've ever had on this channel. There were more offensives and counter-offensives, including a huge battle over Saxony, where we were forced to pull back but dealt slightly more casualties to the enemy. We find ourselves in this position now, the frontline here and the enemy alliance trying to retake the Elbian capital of Prague. The fact that I ended the last video on a cliffhanger mid-war has led some people to believe that things might go very badly for us, and there might be some shock intervention from a new enemy. Well, wait and see. The last thing we were doing in part 14 was speaking to Ethiopia and India, two countries with natural interests against the Ottoman Empire. Before we get into it, please do give the video a like. Obligatory shoutouts to my Twitch, where I do Victoria 2 single player these days. I still play multiplayer off-stream though my Discord and my Patreon where you can support the channel. Shout out to all my past and present generous Patreon supporters, thank you. I literally am the dumbest bro. I should have retreated first to the river line. I should have had them at 60k so I could micro them better. You should have not going. made a Mega Robo hug box. Bro. <laughs> You were gonna join anyways. The sides are the same, I actually, whether I did this or not. That fucking Echo, bro. He's in the fucking fear. I'm giving right Russia now. so much money for this. You don't even know. We can give him money as well. Honestly, I kind of feel bad for Russia. I have like, like, like He was a very new player right stuck on a very important nation. He literally just said to me, "How about we meta ally and form a hug box and yes. Dude, how the f how the f do you listen to Mike Tyson's voice and like decide? Yeah, I want to ally that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's true. Yeah, I don't know how your mother does it, dude. I don't know. Maybe you should ask her. We were pausing the game for like 10 minutes in the middle of a giant European war to get a fucking Zungar player. It's fine. Wait, why not what? just have the Vinland guy play it? Like, at this point, his country's dead. Right, I'd like to see Ethiopia and India declaring in their announcements immediately. Yeah, I mean, All right, let's go. Ethiopia at least. You should my team, my team. Yeah, leave our chat, dude. Yeah. Based. All right. Let's see here. Oh, my so dice. zaced. So zaced. So fucking zaced. Alright, um... I told India to come up here. Zaced. Yeah, India. <laughs> Hello. India. Announced to join, mate. We're guaranteeing you at least a region. Yeah. To be honest, I'm not going to join for just one, one state. I will deck my war. After your yeah, wars, yeah, just okay. that's fine, honestly. All I think the EPLP, yeah. Is... Oh. yeah, I'm gonna pull my three defense out and put him back in on a different stack. I'm oh, no yeah, oh, now we have a negative two defense. Perfect. Amazing. Oh, wait, I didn't want you to pull that guy out, Blizzard. We were relying on him. I'm putting him back in. My actual 3 3 that was in that battle died, so that's why that happened. Reinforcing it. Yeah, just keep cycling it. The month tick is in like 15 days, so if you have low org troops, now is the time to... I'm gonna blockade Ottomans, just for the fun of it. You should. Nah. I'm looking for a very fat reinforcement tick. Yeah, let's get let's get a big reinforcement tick here, let's not forget that. Yeah, I need to pull a few units out. It needs, to, yeah. be, it needs to be morbidly obese. <laughs> it needs to be the average American by 2030. <laughs> Oh my god, my reinforced ticks are so bad, I hate not doing the reinforced ticks. We want to affect. Uh, I got a decent one. Very nice tick. Let's just hold that for it for now. Let's get England in, in this one. I mean, that I think we're... Thick England. The sides right now are fine, honestly. 
Let's overwhelm them. Let's get more. I got Let's some nice. Crush them. I got some reinforced ticks that were above the average BMI for their age <laughs> and weight <laughs> and, st and height, whatever it is. Alright, uh, I have a skill issue, General. Where is he? When are you shipping troops, Weevil? <laughs> See, that's the funny part. I don't. <laughs> what? Don't you don't you don't are shipping troops? I don't ship troops. Because I gain nothing from funnel. doing that. Someone, someone else is going to bank all you guys. I need to focus on my own money supply. Roll. Peace offer from Batavia. Is he the world leader? Don't accept. No. No. How, how am I? How am I going to be there? Use him for tickers. Use him for tickers. He's not even sieged. I didn't realize that guy was in our war. That is funny. Lusantra only has like seven mil tech. You know how Batavia is thirteen. Oh, Ottomans is bringing a lot of troops to hit me in the Balkans. How is hitting you? It looked like he was planning to. I think those are just yeah. Dior units that he's bringing back. Don't know though. Oh yeah. Yeah, they're heading back. Maybe he's sending I them mean, to deal with the Ethiopians. I would, I would unseed your know. country, but just do it in like Maybe a safe way so that you can't get caught with your pants down. Alright, listen. When we win Prague, let's move up and let's do an attack in Magdeburg. Hit the Albions in a plane. Prague might just be one of those battles that keeps going forever, but I don't know. I don't really see them being able to reinforce this much longer. Yeah, but I mean, Poland. Oh, we should be sieging down the rest of the Albions. Holy shit. Yeah, Albions yeah, yeah, yeah. are rebuilding their brigades. Uh, Over on our side, anyway. Uh, anyway. A month tick soon. Don't forget to cycle. Call me in August 1st. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Good on you. Burgundy's still the war leader, right? Ethiopia, yeah. right? He's in. Yeah, just full, just full sieging down. Yeah. Like, what's the back line looking like around Berlin? I'm thinking we might be able to... Yeah, we could. We could. Yeah, my troops are just not reinforcing. I think it's a psychology tech. I mean, they're reinforcing maybe like once every few months. I don't have that many goods. I'm fully reinforcing my whole army. Oh, Russia's mobilizing. Shit. Dude, the fact that these people still don't know oh, how to mobilize. Well, it's over. Did we get too cocky? The AI never forgets to mobilize. No, dude, what, what's Fresh gonna do? Check his melt at. It's a whopping did we... 16. <laughs> did I, I we get too that. cocky, bros? It's also like pure infantry he'd be sending in, so. Yeah. They're moving in from Slovakia. Oh, interesting. Be careful of your Hungarian Ooh. troops. It's coming to hit me. I can take it. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll go there. Wait, oh, no. He's... Those are really Dior stacks. I don't know what he's actually doing. I mean, I would call it posturing, but I don't know these people know what that word means. I don't think these peop people could sit up with a good posture. So Everyone, check your posture. Yeah, my posture is pretty bad. My posture is always fucking awful. Oh, are they attacking? No, they're not attacking something else. That would be too smart. We might want to do something in the north here real let's, soon. Let's finish up this. It's an isolated stack Start with doing no leader. Bounty. Take four attack. Oh, the casualties. <laughs> I'm reinforcing with four stacks. Also, are we attacking up north? Yeah, attack no, Magdeburg. Oh, attack Magdeburg and Stendhal. Fuck them. Oh, yeah, Fuck them yeah. up. Okay, okay. Good. Okay, okay. I'll use my John Cena in Magdeburg, okay? Four attack, Luke. Use the guarantee. Oh, I'm going back that way. Rehoused. I'm sure someone can spare some money for you. I need some money desperately. Dempsey's literally just sitting alone in the channel. He's he's, he's like tabbed up playing Foxhall. This is our host, guys. <laughs> Russia might be flipping. Like a <laughs> burger! Oh, we flipping Russia? Cool. I'm talking to him. I mean, it makes sense. Okay, Poland says he'll peace. Poland? No, no, not Poland. Um, what is it? Uh, Russia, Russia, <laughs> Russia. Oh, nice. Hey, let's do it. Let's go, boys. Russia, Russia, can you come back down? I need to talk to you about something. Uh, I think the plan is right now is for Russia to peace out. I'm gonna peace out, Albiot. Why? I don't want to remain in the war anymore. Neighbors <laughs> like, you, you can't do this to me. When my hug box hey, hey. collapses in my hands. No, 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 no. I built this hug box. I started this hookbox. You're what out. Shut up. What do you want? What do you want, everyone? How does Look. it feel? How does it you know feel? what? I blame this on Ben. I actually blame this on Ben. Because he should have killed you. And he didn't. <laughs> so I don't understand how he lost that war. Me neither. And now, I also skilled this shit. So, whatever. It's my fault too. But whatever.
are you oh, able oh, to go, go, move into Desau, move into Desau. Oh, yes, 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 go, into, go into Desau, yeah. Oh, keep going up north. Crush them up north. We could be even be attacking other problems. Oh, you could hit Hala or something. We can attack them all. Right, peace, Ottomans. What? No, no, no. We're, we're taking stuff. From, no, we're taking stuff from him. We're Ethiopia's stuff. in the war. Ethiopia's in the war. All right, decline. White peace is not on the table, your grace. Fuck that guy. That's not gonna be a white peace. We're only white piecing out the people who have literally no point in being in the war on their side. Oh, yeah. Reinforce Hala. Oh my god, where are you, Burgundy? I need your troops. Hang on, it was at speed three for a second. I thought I put my John Cena yeah, this on. This is a literal troll host. Dempsey took the, the save before I put my John Cena on. I'm gonna launch an attack into Osig. Oh, no. hell yeah, that's where you needed it. Right. Uh, um, you can attack Berlin now. Oh, yeah. And then circle that other battle. We're going to be following up from Prague momentarily as well, I think. Oh, holy shit, Prague. Actually, we're just following up to Osig. Alright, sure. You want me to uh, yeah. announce the join, correct? Yeah. Yeah. It might be over yeah. soon, though. <laughs> Joining Burgundy. They might just surrender the second they see them. Yeah. Honest. I mean, yeah, I'd I'm say try we'll, do that. we'll just really go like in on Poland later. I want to scare them into a surrender. Yeah, I mean, if you announce now, there's nothing like... He's He's surrendered. He surrendered. Uh, he surrendered. He surrendered. Yeah, that's yeah, it, boys. It. GG. Okay, let's see here. We're at... 34 oh, 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 wait. Right, you can't yeah. join no, the war. Can't. Um, right, I'm oh. going to add my stuff, triple Atania. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so they're not surrendering. We're still going to win. Let's just keep winning. Wait, what? Yeah, just do that. Surrender. Right, keep pushing, keep pushing, keep I pushing. I did not know that was a rule. We've got your back, Russia, if they do anything to you. No one knows the rules. It actually has been a rule for a while. You can't. Nobody do reads the rules. I can, know I can say are. I contributed. Uh, oh, yeah, they okay. surrendered. They surrendered. They did? Good luck. Uh, okay. How many times? It's non-negotiable that I'm getting African stuff. And same with Ethiopia, yeah, I want to get some stuff in Egypt. Now I want at least one German region. Ottomans isn't surrendering, by the way. Alright, let's go down and kill him and then, fine. Yeah. That doesn't matter. You're about to get attacked, Ethiopia. Uh, I'm aware. Okay, let's see here. We're at 34 war score. What do you guys want? Wait, what is the 34? That's cars, we that's my Is that your, your two things? Alsace and Rhineland. Oh, I got unseized even though the Ottomans didn't surrender, and that was all Ottoman occupations. <laughs> I love that. Okay, fine. Let's let's all right. Let's murder Ottomans. This is so. the Ottoman reckoning. I'm gonna add Turing in. War of Unification. Turing in. Twenty-eight. Okay, I'm adding Triple Atania. I'm just yes, wanting to tell you about all that stuff. Can I add uh, Upper Egypt? It's a colonial state. Ottomans want to continue this fucking war. I'm adding Zaxon, which is quite controversial, but I'm adding Zaxon. I added my war goals. It's three colonies. Are you fucking killing the Elvians? We should be. I mean, it's gonna hurt, but it's not gonna kill them as a nation. Yeah, that too. Yeah, but doesn't the Nubian have, like, a, that special CB? That okay, but do you them? have friends? Yeah, I do, but it's not really causing less war score. I'm taking Saxony because it's a high pops I can take for the least war score. Good war, guys. Good war. All right, I promote Enver Pasha to the defense of Istanbul. Oh no, right. now he's LARPing. <laughs> please keep LARPing to a minimum. Narsik, Thank just you. give up. Narsik, please, just shit. give up, dude. Never, ever. 1919, dude. Draw around, Narsik. The Ottomans did lose the First World War, you know? Oh, the LARPery. Hello? Hello, expert Sneedman. Congratulations on your war in America. Thank you, big Sneedful. <laughs> Oh, you won that? I'm more amazed at the fact that what? BM lost the Burgundy. Pretty touch and go because my army sucked at the that start. Like, he almost had me in Panama. There, there are two things. First of all, it's Ben. I have no idea what he was doing, but this isn't the first time he's messed up. And secondly, there was a pretty big discrepancy between Miltech. Ben literally plug walked into an encirclement. Yeah. That's not an exaggeration. Yeah. He just walked into it. Ben fucked his nation by sacrificing like his proper culture text. He's going to be behind on literacy. I have 48% literacy, dude. I think I have. All right, there's the everyone. There's everyone. Let's go. By the way, uh, Spudgun, I did win this war in my book. I sieged Vienna once. Okay. Damn. Are you writing a book about your LARPing? I'm LARPing dude. Holy shit. At exactly the same time you occupied Vienna, multiple Albion stacks were wiped in Germany. 
causing us to win the war. I, you know, I, you know, actually, like, uh, I, I expected the Albians to put up a fight, you know, even beat you. That's why I didn't come at the first place, you know? Are you surrendering? Alright, what's, what's the, no. uh, what's the war score? Okay, we're gonna come and siege you, Darren. Is anyone adding any more war goals? Because I want to add some cores. We don't want you to add any more cores, Burgundy. We deny that. We're giving Ethiopia things. Spogon, I fucking hate what you're gonna Holy do with those borders, but that's based in terms of pop numbers. I need to do this. <laughs> the other two states I could take on the border were just fucking really underwhelming. Next, Spogon's gonna take Brandenburg and then Pomerania. He's gonna circle the Albians. The other two provinces I could take actually cost more war score. Well, that's because Hessen's like 10 fucking provinces. <laughs> yeah, I don't... That Thuringian's not bad. Saxony's half that. fucking check. Never thought I'd die fighting side by side with a lizard. <laughs> How about side by side with a person who can't micro? <laughs> Wait, what? Uh, why didn't my troops just... What's happening? What? <laughs> what? What's happening? My troops just... <laughs> What's what happened to your... with... Okay. Oh Least my... retarded Turk. <laughs> they actually <laughs> retarded my troops attacked and they retreated immediately. What? This is... Wait a second. Wait a second. Diagnosis what? skill issue. Does he have Rebel yeah, Hunt on? Yeah, this is not even a skill issue, dude. This is actually fucking game fucking Mjolnir, man. This Do you have bullshit. Rebel Hunt on? Bullshit. I'll tell you what happened. You sent in one little stack that got wiped ending the battle and they auto retreated back, right? Yeah. That's a, that is an issue of skill. That's that's not a skill issue. Dude. It is. That is a skill oh, issue. Hey, Armand, you, right now you need to go figure out what troops are between behind lines. Need to there, it says there. they're all moving to Haya. No, no, they're, they're not they're moving to Haya. Haya. Just peace out of the war, mate. Just surrender. Dude, Haya, just peace out of the war and save yourself the army. Just surrender. Ah, sure, bro. Sure, I'll surrender. Dude. Got it. Oh, oh, there man. we go. Finally. I can respect that. Add some stuff, Ethiopia. Yeah, how much voice code do we have? Coke can add some stuff. Can we give Nunu Sinatra something? Perhaps <laughs> you can use <laughs> to me. Take Hedjas, it's got that modifier, the Holy City. Oh! oh. I forgot. No. <laughs> no. Yes. No. Alright, alright, alright. Wait, wait, hold on. Narcook. You say you want the Holy City, yet Turkey is a secular state. Which is it? No! <laughs> you have to secularize society as the Ottomans. It's one of the basic things you have to do. And 97, is that it? Or... Yeah, that yeah, sounds enough. Yeah, not. just send it. And can, can someone give me money, dude? Oh, like, there we go. <laughs> nice. Or what? Nice. That's such a nice map. Oh my god, that's beautiful. Wow. My god, oh, thank I fucking you. Hate you genuinely over, bro. It's genuinely <laughs> over. Oh my that's gosh, dude. Wait, wait, look at, look at America now. Oh, what? Am I, that's my feeling, Marksman. What the fuck? He declared on me, you know, I had to defend myself. I had to defend myself. Steals his land? Yes. So Am I just supposed to let him off scot-free after he gets his entire army stack wiped? Yeah. Come on, Marksman. No! Jesse! Don't describe your views in an ironic <laughs> statement! He'll just reply yes with the fucking the Chad! No! <laughs> Jesse! Burgundy, uh, how are we gonna do this transfer? With the uh, CB? Yeah. Saxony is now my most populous province. That's why I took it. Yeah, England's still giving immigrants, it's crazy. He still must have a fucking new world modifier for some reason, then. Yep. Oh. Oh, look at the top of his head. Hang on, let me get an alliance with you. Let me see this. Can someone build the railroads in me? That would be much appreciated. I can. Thank you. No, you don't have a party that allows Can it. I switch sides? Oh, I mean, yeah, Ottomans. I had, like I said at the start of the session, no for fucking nothing against you, but you joined that. Yeah, I, I thought I thought Elbins was, you know. Why are you trying to fear the Burgundy and the Elbins might be working out something? So, be aware and be ready. Yeah, they're definitely ma making a deal, but who cares? Because we'll have DM. Uh... Me You'll have Scandinavia, bro. Maybe Scandinavia, but I want to talk to Poland as well. Poland, did you get the cores that he's giving you, or alleged to give you out of that war? Danubia, if you're going to be switching sides... Yeah, he, he is. Yeah, maybe, probably. I want to talk to Poland, and I want fucking Ben to be ready and willing. Right, Spain, I'm sitting at friendly 100. Do you need a sphere now? Yeah, I can take a sphere.
looking at this situation, I mean, they're going to probably have Ottomans, Poland, Albians. We're going to need Russia. We're going to need Italy, Spain. We're going to have to start getting Spain in the wars. We're going to get Scandi. Get yeah, Scandi. I'm starting to be able to actually go out and do stuff since I'm no longer an economic mess. He's still a mess. He's just not an economic mess. This entire block is fucking Danubia and their spherelings. Italy, Spain, dual monarchy. All spherelings. I mean, Scandi, you want to go in on Elbians, right? You can fight the Hugmanis and get your core land. I mean... Yeah, sure. I'll give you Holstein and Pomerania back after I form Germany. Deal. Wow, that's a great deal. I'll take it. Why would you be in it, JFK, to take back Holstein and Pomerania that I need to form Germany? If I take Pomerania, I can get Poland. If I take Stettin, I get cores all over Lithuania. I'm done Lithuania. talking here. Come on. <laughs> and that's a good idea. You know, Scandi, if you want to maintain naval dominance... Can, I, can, I, have an audience, can I have an audience with the Danubia, uh, <laughs> Italy, and the, the Burgundian alliance? <laughs> what what are you going to do? Just feed us another pack of lies? Uh, no, I, I need to talk to you about something. Yeah, sure. I heard uh, that Russia is getting attacked by the Asian hog box. Oh, yeah. The Asians should join this war against Russia now. Maybe you should talk to the Asians about that. You really want to open the Asian hug box, Pandora's box? Look at this! What do you think this is? The Asian hug box is an answer to this crap. We might have riled the Asians up against Russia. And that might be a problem. Why? Because he was against us. How did you rile them up against them? We were calling out for the Asian hug box to help us against that hug box. It's pretty natural. Asians yeah. have like... 1,000 brigades, like, bro, it's scary, though. I want to see a new player in Russia fight that. I'll renounce my ship to Libya, and I'll just go down to Ethiopia, because Baharat is fighting Russia right now. Burgundy is going to go against you now, so DM is going to be on your side, so... I mean, sure, I don't I don't want to explain it to Egypt. That was always, like, an Ethiopia thing, so... If you want to just fight him there... Yeah, I'm going to choose Libya stuff. I mean, okay. You can't? I can't? What? Yeah, you, there's no choose picks in this mod. I want, I want to attack Russia too, but... Look, just go for it. Just stay out of the Central European Wars. Yeah, I'm gonna stay out of it after that. Uh, yeah, like, I mean, it's, if you're fine with renouncing Libya, I don't have a problem. After yeah. that, I'll be a fuck up. It's just surprising. You're not getting hungry, and it's, it's not ports anyway, man. You, you want ports for the late game. Yeah, yeah. I want a 1v1 Burgundy though, if that's okay. Man, I don't think you'd win that. I think I can. <laughs> Hello. What's going on here? Hey, Burgundy. Burgundy, I assume you're betraying us? Nah. Mm -hmm. So you're not allying Albions? Yeah. Don't portray me too badly, bro. Please, come on. Hmm, which one shall I use here? <laughs> no, I, I never do. People portray themselves. <laughs> if we had one that were, we were going to give Batavia the land so they could form Netherlands. That's harsh. <laughs> that's what they were planning to do to you, Chrono. Jesus. That's, that's a LARP. <laughs> that's what we were going to do. I'm very glad it didn't happen. Well, come on. It would have been kind of cool. Like, come on. Like, Not for me. Why did Narsik come up here? Because I told him that they were decking on Russia and he immediately came like here. He just said he didn't want to fight me over Libya and shit like that. And how oh, okay. Yeah. I thought he was going to do something strange. No, he will do something strange. Just don't know what it is yet. <laughs> Alright, I'm a GP now and you don't want to be spared. I'm still number one industry, man. And I'm number 10 industry. It keeps going down. Where do you guys think I messed up the most in what that world? Um... Just your positioning of troops in the Rhineland. Cause the initial, yeah, the initial you guys push. concentrated in the Rhineland. Yeah, I should have. Yeah, yeah. like, basically, my thought process was yeah. it was kind of being spot we agreed on it, but it was like, we're not going to beat the Mega Hugbox, so we're just going to hit you in one area, try to overwhelm you regionally, and then we'll just follow that up. 
and then we did, and we got some good encirclements. Yeah. We evened the brigade count to fight the rest yeah, of the did. war. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I messed up. I don't want to rub it in too much, but I find it kind of incredible how you just lost, like, what, almost 200 brigades there? That must have hurt. <laughs> it was, like, 200. Yeah. <laughs> I just spent the whole rest of the war fighting with, like, 100 brigades getting, like... Holy shit, I would have followed up with another message if I knew how to spell unequivocally. I mean, how the fuck do you spell that? Unna, unna, unno. U-Q-U-U-I-V-O-C-A-L-L-Y. The whole hot box. Holy fuck, the, the entire That's how you spell hot it. box. Unequivocally over. Is this boy gonna pop off? I want some entertainment here. I, I want another war. Uh, kind of awkward if Poland does or doesn't join that, is he? I don't know. Mm. I think Poland's joining. Yeah, Poland's joining. Yeah, Poland's joining. Mm -hmm. Is there a word that's stronger than unequivocally to describe how over it is for Russia? I, I think unequivocally oh my God. is India just about is the strongest way we have in the English <laughs> language for it. Yeah, the thing is, I think Narsik wanted to join, because Narsik has some meta thing against the India player, so he might actually join Russia's side. Well, that's cool. I mean, that'll be a good war. <laughs> I think it's still way over for Russia, but... The Asians are planning to kill the Ottomans. Oh, yeah. yeah, that's been a thing right. for a while. So, Russia, you're gonna have to give up any pretense of a front line and fight a guerrilla war. Nah, you can fight a front line with this few provinces. Poland's joining. There's few provinces and they have no miltech. You could totally go with Poland. Are there even enough guns? Poland's in the mobilized. War? What else is he doing? Wait, wait, wait. Just, just have one of somebody who is at war with Poland join the war. Too easy. Cuck him over. You didn't announce. No, they never announced. So, uh, can you go down to Omni? This is Ethiopia. Okay. Do you want to be sphered? No, India's fearing you. Why would you let India sphere you? He's got no mill goods, he's got no industry goods. Anyway. Uh, okay. What do you want? What's up? The Ottomans are probably going to attack Omni when the truce is over, I'd imagine. And I can, like, hold out, but I'd be happy to give you 90% of the war score if you, uh, could at least, like, threaten to join. Mm, no, I really, really can't. Sorry, I really can't. I've got the Albians and potentially Burgundy. Yeah. All right, Ben's mobilizing. I think that's probably going to distract you for a couple years anyway. I think you need to be strong enough to hold out. I think you can. I think you can hold out. Yeah, I've got half his brigades right now is the issue, but I think I can like at least drag it out long enough for... I don't know, this might kind of force me to align with uh, the Asians, but... Uh... Yeah, that's fine. Ben's mobilizing. Uh, DM's going to attack you, man. Really? I don't like this. What's going on? Is that just a 1v1, right? It is a 1v1. What is? The DM boy? He's gonna deck on you? Is he really? I mean, I don't know. No, it's a joke. Are you stupid? Why is, why is well, he yes, but... I don't why know, maybe to declare a war. I don't know, dude. Why would a country that you own the core territory of mobilize on your border? Is it, gee, I wonder they want to declare war on you? Couldn't be that. Gee, I wonder. He's, he's, he's kind of Spud's little butt buddy right now. So, uh... You gonna allow this Spud, or...? Why wouldn't he? I'll just wipe him again. Go for it. Now we have the complete war analyzer and we end up with just under 7 million total casualties. 3.1 million of those being us, 3.7 million of those being the enemies. There isn't much more war analysis to cover, there was mainly just the Battle of Prague in this part. That was a real grinding battle for the enemy, the main problem for them was that they were not reinforcing that well out of the battle, whereas I was getting fat reinforcement ticks in my own territory right next to it. This war, being in the mid game, saw early game style combat as well as late game style combat. The Battle of Prague was a grinding great war battle. But the main thing that caused the enemy alliance to surrender was Russia piecing out and then attempting to join our side, and then that being ruled illegal by the international courts. I will go into detail on the diplomacy and situation regarding Russia and the Asian hog box, but first I'll explain the peace deal. In the peace deal, Burgundy took Alsace and the Rhineland, and I took Saxony. 
These are the changes in population of these three countries, from 1875, which was the end of part 13, to 1880, which is the present day. As well as the peace deal, the populations have also changed due to natural growth as well as the war. And a lot of people pointed out in the comments of the previous video how they could visibly see my pops going down through that war by about 200,000 or something. But I more than made up for it by taking Saxony. The population gap between the Albians and the Danubians is narrowing, but he still has 2 million more than me. Over in Africa we had Ethiopian and Italian gains against the Ottoman Empire. An unlikely duo. Ethiopia took Middle and Upper Egypt, which are Ottoman cores. It's just under 300,000 pops, these are colonies and unaccepted for Ethiopia. It's decent though. But the real prize is Northern Egypt if he can continue this expansion. Italy took all three colonies that make up Libya for about 400k pops, which is not bad. Overall the peace deal was very fair, each of our four participants got something that we wanted. Ah, uh, sorry Nusantara. I had to settle for one region because the special cultural union casus belli over German regions, War of Unification, cost the same amount of war score as a choir state, just without the infamy. Sadly it's not like a choir corps that Burgundy used which is less war score. And for the record I cannot truce break with this casus belli, it has to be justified like everything else apart from containment. So now here are all the populations of Europe. You can see how the pop changes of the war fit into context. The only other population change of note here is Scandinavia, whose population has skyrocketed because he got the lion's share of the African colonisation. With the population counts that I showed you at the end of part 13, he had about 9 million pops. This is after the first wave of the scramble for Africa, the next one's in 1890. You may notice that India has Zimbabwe there. This was transferred to India by Scandinavia, because Scandinavia is trying to get in with the Asian hog box. India lacks natural industrial resources, this region has iron, so... By the way, the new Santaran invasion of Batavia ended in a stalemate with him just occupying one or two provinces. This may have impacted the actual war and that Batavia was unable to ship any more troops to Europe, I suppose. But this little conflict really had nothing to do with the European conflict. New Santara should just be trying to invade Batavia separately. I do applaud him trying to make a good play here, especially something independent of the wider Asian hog box. But now for the diplomacy. Obviously I'm very shaken after the experience of declaring on the Elbian Confederation only for PLC, Russia and the Ottoman Empire to join. But after that war, the diplomatic outlook is looking a lot better, especially with the reintroduction of Scandinavia potentially. Scandinavia has direct interests against the Elbian Confederation and Poland-Lithuania, to a lesser extent. He still has these current cores on Holstein and Pomerania, and then that decision can give him cores over East Prussia. I rejected him when he wanted to go for that earlier, because of the delicate situation between me and the Albians at that time, but now all bets are off, he can come in if he wants. That could be another potential source of friction with the dual monarchy who might not take kindly to working with Scandi, but we'll see how that turns out. There's more pressing issues for the dual monarchy right now. The other way that the European diplomacy may have shifted in my favour, or maybe not in my favour as it turns out, is Russia. The reason that riling up the Asian hug box against Russia might have been a long-term blunder is because assuming Russia actually begins to act in its own national interest and therefore seeks to go against Poland-Lithuania to take its cores and accepted pops, they're a natural ally for me against the PLC, who is the Albion's closest ally. But we actively encouraged the massive Asian hug box and their thousand brigades to go against the Russian Empire. At the time, as you well know from the last part, we were completely desperate. We couldn't really know that Russia wasn't going to be fully committed to the war, and that he would ultimately wipe peace out. You have to assume that your enemies are going to try and fight you to their best ability. Just bear in mind that this is a western route Russia with cores over about half of the PLC's territory. Russia renounced his mistaken move to ally with the PLC against me, Burgundy and Italy, and tried to switch sides and all that. He corrected himself. But unfortunately the riling up of the Asian hug box against him has set off a process that is now well out of our hands. The Asian hug box has smelled blood, they've smelled weakness. It's too late. It's over. <laughs> but regardless of us trying to get the Asian hug box to attack Russia, Russia is the natural outside expansion route for this hug box anyway. By the way, the original Dzungar and original Russia players had allied each other and the Dzungars were being used as a buffer state against the hug box. But that's been forgotten because those players are gone. So the Dzungar Khanate is now the newest member of the Asian hug box and is now being used against Russia because of all these cores they have. They invaded him and Poland-Lithuania has joined that, knowing that Russia was turning against him away from their earlier hug box. So Russia's just doomed here. Yes, we could have truce blocked the PLC out, 
but that could have put us at risk of some kind of further escalation, and that's only the sort of move you make if you're really desperate as Burgundy was in part 12. And at the time I was actually trying to get in contact with the PLC, turn them against the Elbians or something. That's not happening though. The PLC supposedly demanding land off the Elbians in exchange for joining that big war was some kind of miscommunication. The PLC and the Elbians are just allied. As for this big empire that borders me to the southeast, I might not have to deal with the Ottomans again if what he said is true. He'll just go off and fight Ethiopia and maybe defend against an Asian hugbox onslaught of his own. Ethiopia helped us in that war and in exchange we gave him land in the peace deal. But the geopolitical situation just means that we can't really tie ourselves to him if it means that we can keep the Ottomans out of our Central European wars. The various Ethiopia players have built a pretty strong country, and as you heard he's naturally moving towards the Asian hugbox to defend him against the Ottomans. It's all up in the air. The diplomacy here is crazy, always changing, and I have to navigate through it to continue my quest to form Germany. The dual monarchy is poised to declare on Burgundy for a rematch, and I have a choice. Do I join that or stay out? Find out next time. Thank you very much for watching everyone. Hope you enjoyed. Please like the video. This is just a short term note. This doesn't matter if you're watching a long time after this was uploaded. I somehow managed to get this video done for an upload a week after the last one, but it did take intense work, you know, morning, afternoon and evening, so don't necessarily expect that for part 16. As I said before, I've traditionally had a weekly upload schedule, but the videos are a lot more complex now, with a lot more things added than there used to be, so it takes longer. But the next part is still coming, so subscribe if you haven't already. Check these links to join the community and support the channel. Have a nice day everyone, see you later, bye. GG, that was fun. See you guys next week. I'm um, assuming I don't blow my brains out, which I might.